Hi, I'm Garrett, and in this video, I am going to teach you how to take your audio out of a video in Cyberlink Power Director, carry it over to the Auto Audio Director, and then split that file into multiple files and save each file. So you can, uh, for my purposes, I do podcasts, and I want those uh, uh, promotions to be put in the middle of the files, so I have to split them. There is not a real easy way to do this in Cyberlink, but I have found the way to make it work. So this is what I found, and hopefully you will get this and make it work for you. So we're going to switch over to my display and go into power director and so i have this hour long video here that i want to get the uh strip the audio out of and then split the audio file so when you have your video what you want to do is produce the video and make sure that you have <clears throat> extract the audio selected right here when you have that, you can select the file type you want, WAV file, whatever it may be. They have three uh, options right here, so we'll go with the WAV file. And then down the export to, you want to give the directory that you want, so we'll go to the downloads folder. And you can see right now in downloads, I do not have <clears throat> the file that is called Phantom Interview with Steve Wallace. So I'm going to put it here then you can see the file name is right there so we're going to hit save and it will process quite quickly so you want to click click the start button down at the bottom and you can see it's processing through the audio and now the audio file is done so now we're going to open up the directory and i'm going to go to my downloads folder and here is the file right here. So now we're going to open up Audio Director, which is this one right here, Cyberlink Audio Director. Click that, and while it's loading, we're going to open up that directory. And then I am simply going to drag it into this box right over here. And it will install now I've got some other things here that I don't need so you can just come over and click the garbage can and that will get rid of them when you hover over the name so those are now gone and all I'm left with is this one so I'm going to drag that over to here so I've, I click and hold with the left mouse button drag it over to the first track and there it is so now we need to figure out exactly where we want to split this at. So I'm going to come over quickly to these two spots I'm going to do this at. This will be the first one. And I'm going to zoom into it just a little bit. Let's see, I lost it. So the way I'm zooming in is by holding control down and then sliding it around. So we are going to move the marker right over to the end right there. And that way when I zoom in, I'll be right there. And I want to just make sure that I split it exactly where I want it. So I'm going to just play briefly to this interview. Okay, so there's a very quick interruption. So right after the word interview. Back to this interview. Okay, so there it is. Now, we have this particular audio track selected because it's turned purple and there's a blue line around it. Up above is this little cut icon when you click that the track will split so now I have two tracks now I'm gonna zoom out for a moment because I want to do it at the next spot where I had this little interruption and I'm going to click there and zoom in a little bit and then I'm going to come over to where it gets quiet for a moment here and I've got some oddball noise in this thing, but uh, that's not the point of this one now. So now we have split this into three tracks. So here's how you create independent files. You're gonna have to select your first two tracks and just hit the delete button. You can delete them and click remove and fill leave gap, remove or fill gap, remove fill gap and move all clips, which is that's the one that you want to click 
for your future, uh, the other three that we're going to save. So now we have this one here. We are now going to produce it by coming up and clicking produce. And we'll give it a name. We're going to call it uh, Steve interview and the number one. And then I'm going to just copy that into my clipboard and then I'm going to tell it where I want to save that at. So we are going to go back to the downloads folder and we'll save it there and click save and produce and audio director will produce that one out. <clears throat> so now that one is almost done. It's going to go through this twice for some reason. I don't know why it does that, but that's what it does. And there it is. Okay, so now we're going to press Control Z and those tracks are back. So now we're going to click the first track, hold the Control button down and click the last track, hit the Delete button and remove and fill uh, remove, fill gap, and move all clips. And now it's moved it right to the beginning. Now we're going to produce again. And I am going to paste in and change that to 2, the Steve interview. So now it's Steve interview 2. We're going to produce that track. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a scratchy throat. And now that one is done. Control Z, and now we'll remove the first two. Remove, fill gap, and move all clips, and then we'll produce again. And again, we'll give it the name. Now this is uh, Steve Interview 3. And produce. And we are almost done. And we're going to go over to the directory and you will see right here we have Steve interview one, Steve interview two, Steve interview three. And we can come back to the file, hit control Z and then save the file to wherever we want to save it. I'll save it in downloads and we'll just call it uh, Steve interview and we'll take out the one. And then we can leave it at that and edit it out as you want. I hope this video was helpful and, and gave you the answer you're looking for. The reason I did this is because I was looking for the answer and I could not find it anywhere. So if it's helpful, give me a thumbs up and a comment down below in the video. And we will talk to you later. Happy creating.